I always seem to end up with these women who can't hold on to their friends. You know these girls, everybody knows one of them, they're always having some kind of drama with a friend or a family member or somebody at work. Yet it never dawns on these women that the common denominator in all these conflicts is that they are less stable than the leader of Hezbollah. <laughs> this is a true story. I had a girlfriend turn to me once at a restaurant and say this to me. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. The girl over there at the bar, the blonde, don't look, 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 don't look. I told you not to look. Okay, I used to be like best friends with her. But then we had a total falling out. And now she's my nemesis. She's my arch enemy. That's a direct quote, folks. And I'm standing there like nemesis, arch enemy. What are you, a fucking superhero? <laughs> What am I dating? Mrs. Incredible? Like, what? We're gonna have a karate fight tonight before we get home? Like, what the? Who the hell has the time and energy to have an arch enemy? So isn't life tough enough? I gotta do all I can to keep from hating myself. This woman's got a nemesis? That's exhausting, isn't it? See, because guys rarely, if ever, have a total falling out with a friend. Guys just stop calling each other. Because any friendship between two grown men that takes anything more than zero effort to keep going, <laughs> that thing is over. <laughs> Trust me, 0.001% effort, over. <laughs> Women don't understand this, so they ask questions such as, what's the matter, you don't talk to Billy anymore? Did something happen? Did something happen between you and Billy? And the guy's response is pretty much the same always. So he's like, uh, no. <laughs> now that I think of it, uh, absolutely nothing happened. We, we just simultaneously came to the conclusion with absolutely no communication whatsoever that we couldn't give a shit about each other. <laughs> Friendship over, I guess. Now what do you want to do for dinner, nosy? Oh, God. And one of the main things that I've learned from all these experiences is that in every group of girlfriends, there is at least one who is a complete and total psycho. That's the girl who all the other girls are going to end up hating eventually. The key is, if you're a guy, is to identify who she is immediately. No matter how hot she is, don't date her. Trust me, it'll save you years, perhaps decades of pain and heartache. And ladies, if you're sitting there thinking, hmm, I don't have any psycho friends, you are the psycho. 